Well, the birth is the seeding, right? That's where the baby gets its microbiome in the first place. Mom delivers the microbiome as the baby passes out of the birth canal. Um, in fact, so, you know, even, even before the birth canal, whatever mom is doing over those nine months is really important. Bingo. You know, mom mm -hmm. is keeping, mm -hmm. if she's keeping her microbiome healthy, she'll be able to download uh, and deliver a good healthy microbiome to that child. Yep. And if she's not, then she'll be de delivering a damaged microbiome to that child. And what happens if there's not a vaginal delivery? Oh, if there's not a vaginal delivery, then the 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 you know the microbiome that gets delivered vaginally is more diverse than if you have a C-section, for mm -hmm. example. Mm -hmm. There's really good data to show that the baby gets a microbiome um, that is more sort of skin microbiome um, if it's a C-section versus a vaginal delivery. And mm -hmm. that microbiome, the skin microbiome, is more, I guess you could say, is more of like an inflammatory microbiome. Mm -hmm. And down the line, after a year, after two years, after three years, those children are much more likely to gain weight. So it's associated with obesity and diabetes. They're much more likely to have allergies they're much more likely to have food intolerances, all because of what microbiome they were initially seeded with. It's absolutely fascinating.